Hello and good evening everyone, this is Cody, your dear Ninja Nier host. Welcome back to one more round of Python. And today, oh, I, I've got a, I've got a bomb in my, in my pocket here, and it's, it's gonna blow up pretty hard today. Um, you will love this. What I'm gonna show you today. Now, what we are gonna do is, um, we will control uh, pre-processing software um, entirely uh, remotely. Okay, and this is one of my uh, many friends ask me um, how I'm doing this, and uh, they ask me how uh, for uh, my classes and something like that, and I thought about. Um, yeah, I, I have to do a tutorial here. So what we got is here the Python shell, like this right here. And what we want to do is we want to connect it to the preprocessor, like uh, I will use Meta. And sometimes you have a program, which, like me, I always have programs. Um, you've self-written it. And at some point you want to open a model and show certain things. And usually what you do is you start this preprocessor with the script. But um, we don't want to do this. We want to control this um, directly. So um, what we can actually do is we can s directly send the commands over here to the preprocessor and don't need any scripting or something like that. So um, let's just show you how it's done. You have to start Meta. Okay, this is 16.1. It's pretty old. Um, I always use this one for testing. I don't know why. I have 17.03.04 on my machine, but uh, for testing I'm always using 16.1. Uh, now what you have to specify is this argument here. Mine is listen port 4342 is my own choice. I don't know. Choose your own port. Uh, you have enough in for your computer, hopefully. Don't mess it up. And of course the window has to pop up on the wrong screen. Here we have it. Um, so uh, yeah, this is Meta. It's running now, and what we what we want to do is we want to connect from this right uh, window to the left, okay? And um, you do this through this um, socket library, and um, you will see um, strange things now. No, I'm not gonna slaughter anyone. Um, today is not slaughtering uh, Friday. Today is uh, working Friday and video recording Friday. So. Um, if you want to look up uh, what settings I'm here using, um, simply don't do it and just copy it if you're really not into programming. Uh, so uh, the next one is, is rather important, you should remember that. So first you specify the uh, IP address, you can also do this and mess up the computers of your uh, colleagues when they're working. Not that I've ever tried. Um, yeah, okay, that, that, that wasn't very, very convincing, <laughs> but um, yeah, I can live with it. I think they can't. Um, so uh, you, what you can do is when you use the send command actually um, it, it's like you type in the command here okay it's the same language whatever scripting this is old um, scripting style I would rather prefer Python style but it's it's very obvious that I'm in love with Python <laughs> So um, let's just read a geometry, I don't know, read geom auto and let's use some of my uh, test files. I think it is in the Python folder, actually. And yeah. Oh, <laughs> I always have this one. I really cannot get rid of it. Uh, the command is not executed here because you have to send a new line. It took me like one and a half hours to find this one. <laughs> it was really annoying. Uh, never forget this new line symbol because otherwise this command will not be terminated. Um, so the, the model popped up. Uh, very simple, easy, cool, forwards, whatever. Um, so very uncomplicated. Uh, and this is really cool because um, yeah, now we can do um, more more funny stuff like uh, erase what we see or I don't know just add certain um, certain parts to the visibility I don't know how it's written yeah like this and you have this one so really really cool you can actually um, do a lot of stuff here uh, I I must say um there's one thing I never figured out um, when it's loading here um, and you terminate the socket too early until the command finished here, um, the command will not will stop here. So um, when here on, on the left is something loading, you have to wait until you later call socket.close, okay? Um, because otherwise you will interrupt also meta in whatever it is doing currently. And you all can also can see here the remote host um, closed the connection, okay? 
Um, by the way, when you have no clue how it working, how it's working, there is a command remote info, and then you will get um, a message or how to use remotely. You can also enable it during runtime. Now, um, when I started this, I thought like, hey, really, really, really cool. So, um, because I love you all and I want to save you all this um, whatever messaging, um, safety, uh, yeah, classing, and so forth. Um, I am currently I have already implemented it. I just haven't pushed it. It's um, to the repository. So uh, I have implemented a class um, in my library called Meta Communicator. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe I should import it right because uh, yeah, in Germany you should be really really careful um, about <laughs> just telling some something to do it on the right way. <laughs> but um, yeah, actually. Here we import the meta communicator, so um, let's call it MC Hammer. Yay! Okay, um, I promised you I call it MC Hammer. Now, um, just call um, the meta communicator, and first thing is, um, you usually it does not know where meta is lying. Okay, so um, you can also give it a path to uh, I don't know to meta itself. Um, in order to start it, if it does not, if it's already running and listening, like here, uh, let's just start it again. My computer is a fast one, um, luckily. <laughs> it was also very expensive. Um, now, um, when you start now, um, you see it's already, um, it's now connected, and yeah, you can just. Um, send a command over to, I don't know, remote info and um, yeah, it's just working here. Now, um, if you don't have it up running um, and you open MC Hammer, what it will actually do is it will um, start meta for you. Um, and uh, yeah, this is really cool because um, sometimes you also have a meta open but um, it's not listening on a port and by this I can ensure that um, meta is always fine and if no X caption is thrown here um, yeah it's just it's just up running and you can like always uh, send commands over to uh, yeah meta and read geom auto yeah let's let's do it again because I thought when I did it the first time and was like oh yeah this is that this is even possible um, because now you can just write all your of your favorite um, software, and um, yeah, w of course we have to call MC Hammer to send the command over here, and there the model is popping up. Really, really cool feature. Um, because uh, you usually sometimes you need graphics and like I said, model analysis in your own programs. And by this, you you have total control. You can even control what you're showing, what you're. Um, there's also um, a possibility to get the data back. I have not done it yet, but um, I, even that is possible. So very, very cool work here from uh, from the Meta team. Um, this is my my most favorite feature in this whole post processor. Um, it has a lot of m awesome features uh, more, but this one is my most favorite I've encountered so far because I think no one ever thought about this, and usually they use scripting or whatever. And um, yeah, this is m even much more comfortable. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, have a nice evening. This was a short one. But um, yeah, look up the next version of my uh, library, 0 0.44. There, um, the meta communicator should be inside. And you should be able to use it uh, the same way like I did. Uh, have a nice day.